a quick tutorial on how to play The Lord is Gracious and Compassionate and this is like the intro section especially. So it's in the key of A, so essentially you want to put your this finger, your index finger, across across the whole of the second fret. You're not going to play the high, the, uh, high string but just put it there anyway. And just let the A string ring out, it's like an A chord. <clears throat> then, with these two other fingers, after the uh, longest finger and your ring finger, they're the, they're the ones that do all the kind of work after that. So, uh, so you, once you've got that A note, you start there. And then on the fifth string, on the third fret, you use your um, middle finger and you, and you play the, th the third fret and the fourth, and then the fourth fret. So, uh, it's like a there's a pull off and then there's a hammer on and this is a this is what's called a hammer a hammer on so it goes a so a you're playing the a string and the next note down so two notes together and then oh That's the first part. And then, then you go down to the D string. So there, on the fourth fret. And you're playing it with the next note down, which is, you've already got this finger here, so it's basically this, this, these two notes. So. And again, you're doing the hammer on and then the pull off. And then third fret and the fourth fret again. At the end of it, so. See, so, and then after that, we go to the to the E chord, so let's just go do that. A to the E chord, and then D three four A two three, and then the next part of this you play a, what's called an A suspended four chord. And that goes like this. So you've got that same chord again with the A the fingers all the way across the second fret like that. And then with these two fingers again, we're going to put this one on the third fret of the B string. And this one on the fourth fret of the D string. And then we play that together. So it's like a B minor shape, B minor seven shape, if you know your chords. So. And then with this you go. So again we're doing pull-offs. See so with this hand you're not doing anything. See. You can do the last one if you want. But. See. So that's that. So we, we're putting those on. And you take one. Just practice doing that. And then you're back to the beginning again. So it goes. Basically, how that goes. There is another 
little thing you can do when you come to the E chord. There's many variations of this, but this is just the basic idea of how you play it. <clears throat> but um, when you get to the E, what I sometimes do is uh, is I play so these two notes, which is on the second fret, you got the highest E string and the G string, and you go. So you just move from the second fret, you hit the G string, and then you slide that, and then you play the high, it's a G sharp note on the E string. So. And you can come back to it. And then that which is the bottom part of the E chord. So it goes. So I'll put it together just so you can hear it. And then to D. And then A again. So that's that's the basics. There's a lot more other things you can do as well because once you get into this A, once you've got that, you can also do it for the other chords as well. So with the E, you can play exactly the same thing, but up here. The same thing. Essentially, it's exactly the same as what you're doing here, except you're now moving it up to the D or E and A. So. further along there's there's lots of other things as well you have to study Jimi Hendrix to get most of it <laughs> all right hope that helps <laughs>